An execution at the ready for the A play. And Chopper will be the first player to detect Faye's presence. He'll drop back, he'll smoke out and flash. He's got quick rotations from his teammates and Faze are charging in. Chopper with the first. Traded by Frozen, he'll follow up for a further kill and Faze Clan come crashing in upon this A-bomb site. Team Spirit locked out, Faze have the first round. Yeah, that's beautiful and I, I mean that's the hard part for Chopper is yeah, you get the information they're headed towards you, you don't know how aggressive it's going to be. You don't know if it's just a basic map control with two players or if the entire team is ready to come barreling through your smoke. Frozen had a wonderful series the other day. Rain has had some wonderful maps in this group stage as well. This phase, uh, you know, Spirit's probably just going to be favored, and obviously the Donk Factor, the Shiro Factor is going to lean things, but phases look good so far in this group stage, which you can't always say about phase. No, you can't always. It feels like they get better as the tournament goes on, especially heading into the stage matches. Both confirmed to be in the arena. Loser of this will find themselves in the quarterfinals. I'll tell you why, there might be one thing a little bit scarier than uh, than, than FaZe in the playoffs. You know, FaZe playing with no pressure in the group stage, right? There's no elimination on the line. You get to play loose, you get to play free. You get this team with these players in a situation where they can make whatever decision they want. Ooh, baby. I, I would agree, but then FaZe Clan always seem to be better when there's pressure, JC. You know, when there's no <laughs> other option. Sure. It seems to be another level that comes out of them. Okay. When Very quickly. When does Chopper make his move? Everything FaZe has shown so far in this round is a split through middle to the A bomb site, and now they drop down canals. Chopper still hasn't budged. Shiro's on the rotation over Magix and Donk to defend, but they're out of utility. Oh, that oh, don't oh, matter oh. when you got a Deagle like that. Yeah, when you got Donk, there's always a shot on this B bomb site. Carrigan goes down first. 29 seconds. They just re-smoked outside of B main. FaZe had to respect that smoke, but it'll start to fade away soon. And Donk heads to the back of the platform with Magix tucked away at the glizzy. It's going to be Rain with that first headshot. Donk is cleared out. Magix yet to be detected, but they will consider that position. Hoping that enough of a distraction is being set up for Boris, but it won't happen. Magix is taken down. Shiro will follow. And this Team Spirit for spot is handled well by FaZe. Yeah, look at the control as time is winding down. 4v5 after Kerrigan gets wrecked by Donk. Clock starting to become an issue, but still measured, still patient, and in control. Seem to be playing very, very well together. Tactically strong. Yeah, he's trying to force the issue here towards mid. Has spotted out Chopper towards Temple. He's trying to get the information of when the second player comes over, right? He knows he's probably going to encounter one. He's seen Chopper. He's looking for the second player. Now he's calling it out. One moon in camera, two in middle. You have most one defender at this bomb site looking for the push. He's got a dink, but can't complete the kill. Damage is good, and FaZe are trying to get in towards this A-bomb site, but there's still utility left for Team Spirit to try and delay this. And they are definitely delaying it. And try and get a little bit lucky going contact. One flashbang on Brokey yeah. for this site. They're going to hope they can get the most out of that last piece of utility, but here they go. Mostly contact into Zontix. He gets one out of it. Damage dished out to further FaZe players, but they're coming into that side of the map right now at A. And Rain's up on the fountain. Big shot from Brokey. Needed that kill, but here comes the cavalry on that rotation. And Donk is enough to shut down FaZe. Really good utility work from Spirit in that round to, to slow down that hit and, and force FaZe back away from the timing that they were looking for. Nicely done. They've got a first round on the board. Plenty of players survive. Three of them are intact, so money's still going to be strong. And this was important to get aggressive in mid and not let Kerrigan just kind of bide his time and patiently sit in the corner. Sometimes when you see three B defenders in the mid-round, they go for an aggressive play out B main. Donk and Magix shifting into that just now against Frozen. Frozen has to try and hold off this aggression, but the timing as he lifts up is exactly when Team Spirit have that double push. So Frozen's taken out. Now the A play being set up for FaZe. They look to try and finish here again, but Team Spirit have been doing a good job at holding FaZe back with utility. And Zontix is now being put under pressure. Phase charging in, trying to get beyond that smoke, yet to create a huge amount of space. Shiro does enough to distract for Zontix, who cleans up the rest. A great combination between Shiro and Zontix, and once again, Phase failed to break through to the A-bomb site. Carrigan once again, the tip of the spear through middle for Phase. Slight gap for Shiro to spot him from, and Carrigan is slowing down, keeps moving forward, but he gets detected and stopped by Zontix once again. Zontix and Shiro is that wombo combo breaking apart phase on this side of the map and Rain is now starting to make his way through middle. A couple of his teammates' corpses litter the floor that. 
Fay's still trying to apply pressure, still trying to get through this A-bomb site. Yeah, it's gonna have to be contact from here. One Molotov, one flashbang. This angle so good. That smoke fades away. You thought he was guaranteed at least one, but fortunately for Zontix, Shiro's available, and Rops has to trade it. But now he has to clutch. It will be a 1v4 total for him. He's got that first collected. Three more souls to reap. He'll tap on default, no swing from heaven, but Magic's making no secret about his position. Doctor swings in alone, and that's enough to stop Rops from getting into it. What a great streak of statement rounds, though, from Spirit, right? The mid-round aggression they busted out a couple of times. This one is like, a, the, the previous round is like a clean stop of the initial thrust of an attack, and, and it's just, you know, the first play from FaZe in these last three gun rounds has not worked. It's been firmly in the favor of Spirit, and now Donk's like, you got pistols, so I'm just gonna challenge yep. everything. He feels freedom now. He's gonna start cleaning up, adding a few kills to the tally. Carrigan and Rops split up completely. Ooh. What a shot from Carrigan. I didn't know Carrigan could do that. Yeah, he's got it in him. Not against Donk, but nice shot regardless. Rops now detected. Over towards A, he'll have an M4 in his hands. Oh, he's hoping for a gift. A minute left. Hoping for someone to push right into him. It's not going to happen. Chopper's staying parked so far back. I think we've got to get comfortable, Jason. I think this might be a long one. It could be. I mean, he has... He has yeah. I was going to say, he could save, but I think he'd probably just go for one more kill and get the AK in the next round. Splish and a splash in the water. Donk gives in the fight. Rops predicted it challenges and wins that headshot, but he's up against Chopper, who's found himself the perfect position at the top of the stairs, and then Rops falls. Rops wanted to add in a little bit of pressure to the A bomb site first to start out the round, and let's see how it oh, goes. Oh, it's a quick play in towards A, and it's instantly annihilated by Zontix, who gets out of there. Shiro's there to back him up, and Brokey thought he might have a trade, but he walks right into the waiting arms of Shiro, and it doesn't matter what kind of call you had in mind, because you can't do it anymore. I'll tell you what, Kerrigan, I mean, he gave, he gave the freedom to make that call. You could hear him pass it over to Rops and kind of do it by committee, but... Those are the those are the rounds as an IGL sometimes where you're just like could have went with my idea. Yeah, maybe oh, maybe we just maybe we just do the ends play out of the gate next time. <laughs> yeah, but you can set now. You know, you're yeah, like, all that, right. that was your one rops. So you get no more. Yep. Full blown utility exec from Phase slowed down and countered by utility and Molotovs once again from Spirit. Oh, nice shot from Magic's up on the boost. He just seen enough of Frozen while that flash came in to get the kill. They need to get this bomb in before these smokes fade. It's going to come quick. Another one blown open. Brokey's taken down. He was the bomb carrier. And Spirit is having no issues. Well, now they will. Rops gets that kill towards the back of the platform. Faye's getting ever closer to the site, but still a 4v2. And that bomb is not going down. It will not go down. It is six rounds now for Spirit as they handle the B play. If he's anything like me, he's like, that flick, I get that, you know, I have a quota. I get like one in every four games. <laughs> so It's pretty good. Enjoy it while it lasts. Rops, he knows that Zontix has been hanging around here. He goes for a little peek, changes up the angle. And he finds Zontix. Carrigan has found a gap through the middle. He pushes forward, applying pressure through camera. Shiro now left on an island alone, and he will not hit his foot. Carrigan applies that pressure, realizing that the other A defender had gone down. It is most likely Shiro with an AWP alone. And there's just too much pressure for Shiro to handle. And that's really where FaZe has kind of struggled some of these opening engagements and opening moves. This time, Rops wins it out, and Kerrigan's able to take advantage. Now they're going to try and come in for a retake here, Team Spirit. Staying committed through storage. Magix takes the kill on Kerrigan as his aggression to gather information is punished. Frozen still at heaven. Can he peel away with two? He's close to it. Nice shot from Donk, but that damage done is enough to call off this attempt for Team Spirit. The six-round streak now comes to an end as FaZe finally bounced back. Yeah, good job from FaZe holding off that retake, and a good job from Spirit to bail out before it got a little bit too ugly. Round number four for FaZe. Two outside the B-bomb site right now for FaZe. And attention towards Dark because Donk has been mollied out of his comfortable position. Carrigan tries to lurk through that smoke, but Donk is extremely ready for it. Carrigan punished. Donk turns back through Dark. His second kill will come on Rain, and that has slowed down this play for FaZe. Yeah, and that's exactly... They wanted to put pressure on Donk. They drop a Molotov into his position. Carrigan comes through the smoke. They drop a nade at his position. One more comes Dark, and he's able to handle both. Oh, Rob sees the backpack. That's a kill on Shiro. 
Now Zontix has to be alerted to the fact that Rops is already through this A bomb site, and Rops now has info on that little jiggle that Zontix is towards Bricks, and Rops gets out of there. He wants to join up with the rest of his teammates. If Frozen had taken Magix down to the back of that platform, that might have been the call to head into B. No, but he's given Brokey the information, right? He said, he's like, okay, if there's only one here, they probably rotated off. This is why Rops wanted to add that little A-Rush previously when Karakin called the tactic. Look how much success he's had, how much he's been able to get them to move. But Magix is still alive. Another nice shot from Magix is AWP. He's going to change his position up, drop back, use that utility, but the smoke yeah, negates that problem, and that plant will come through now for Frozen. A 2v3 post plant for Rops and Frozen together. Chopper rips apart Ro Rops, and it's all on Frozen now inside of the site. He's letting that sound cue assist him in changing his position, but they charge together, they effectively trade, and back in on that retake, and back in to the round winner's spirit. Given their purchase, they are favored to do so. Carrigan straight through middle. This time, Shira has changed up his position and he is reaping the reward. Two kills, Carrigan and Rain both down, and now Rops through the A play once more. Continues to be the bane of Zontix's existence. I was gonna say, like, outside of the round where Rops called for the fast A play, he's been a beast at this at this side of the map. Oh, he's causing so through. many problems. Yeah, and Donk has pushed all the way through B, so he's got that flank on Frozen. He's ready for the swing on Rops. And now it is just Brokey with a 1v4. And it looks like four rounds is all that FaZe will have here after the first half. They have three in a row, Jason. Only one round outside of those first three. It has been an incredibly strong showing from Team Spirit in this first half. Yeah, they've done, they, they've done a phenomenal job. We knew they came into this event. We've already seen it. They look sharp. Well, Brokey puts that bomb down. At least they have to come to him now. So a 1v4. This and would be absolutely unbelievable if Broke even gets this close to a winnable situation. Spirit haven't messed up. They will move through. Chopper's dead first. He's predicting the position of Dark. Miss shot goes past, but the spam from Donk will close. An eighth round for Team Spirit. A strong showing on this CT affair as they look to try and take down FaZe on Anubis. They're up 8-4, to four, but switching over, remember, I mean, this, 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 they can certainly get into the same kind of rut that, that FaZe did on the T side. Can be very tough to find some T rounds on this map, and Rain's already going to make the pistol difficult. Ooh. That's a filthy little double kill. Yeah, that was nice from Rain. Rain drops two. Carrigan now with the dual Berettas. He felt the wrath of Shiro around this corner the last <laughs> round of the first half. He starts unleashing those Julies. Oh! Zon takes down, Rain doesn't stop, it's the Carrigan rain combo that destroys Team Spirit in this pistol. Yeah, different styles, Carrigan coming around the corner with dualies, blasting away, Rain <laughs> a little bit more precise. Yeah, there's, you know, it's proof that there's multiple ways to success in this world. And Carrigan's gonna come out on top of that one. More than one ways to skin a cat, Dinko. Chopper making his way through middle. Speaking of Zontix, we're on board with him now as he tries to get in towards this A bomb site. He's about to meet Carrigan. Flash through. And a heads on head battle. Flash comes in. Carrigan nearly cleans up too. Only gets away with the first kill. Now Rops has to worry about multiple angles towards A main and camera. And the fact that he actually stepped out into the open cost him his life from that smoke spam from Zontix. Yeah, that gap created by Carrigan shifting over for that flash play, it never got covered. Mid completely compromised. Double flank coming in. Rain and Frozen. And Frozen's going to stay far back to chuck out utility. Broke, he's doing all the work meanwhile. Two of the three kills necessary in his pocket. But Shiro can't find Frozen. Yeah, but this is a massive number of bodies. Zontix and Donk going to be leading the way with utility. Magic's joining up for that initial thrust. Good stop from Rops. Kerrigan trying to hold the line. Just gets his vision back and they've done their job. Man advantage in the post plant for FaZe. Team Spirit put that bomb down right now. Flash is effective to force Magix off from watching camera, but no one from FaZe moves in with it until that point. Rain spams down through the smoke. It's Chopper gone, leaving it on Magix and Shiro to try and close this. And now it's just young Shiro, and he only manages one extra kill. So FaZe pull off the retake and prove that they can do it even if they lose the bomb site. That'll be a big challenge for Carrigan to try and deal with Donk in middle. Here comes that fight now. Carrigan inside of the smoke, they kiss in the smoke, and Donk instantly reacts to that, perhaps seeing maybe the glimpse of Carrigan's barrel, but that's a headshot, and that's Team Spirit with a first. This is making the defense shift, though. Frozen and Rain considered falling back towards middle. They thought better of it, so they'll stay at the B bomb site. 
Instead of rotating to cover mid, they're going to drop back to dark and make sure there's no drop down into canals because brokey has got an angle in the A site towards camera. So he's saying, you guys don't have to move. I've got it. Fight at dark for Zontix. It's a long range duel, one that he will not come out on top of. I think fans will be very happy that they get that engagement. It's able to draw it back to even numbers again. 43 seconds. They cross by the scope of Brokey. He's unable to react fast enough to get that kill. I like what FaZe is doing right now. Frozen and range is back off. They say middle is compromised. We're going to get flanked Ooh, out. We have, to, we have to take care of the flank. We have to take care of it first. Great shot from Frozen. And that's when Team Spirit's still caught in transition, falling back from mid. So nobody's ready to pounce into the bomb site. 25 seconds left here for Team Spirit. That bomb trying to get into the B bomb site right now. Frozen takes a step back to hide in towards Temple, allowing the rotation and that extra player to play a part here for FaZe. FaZe has looked lovely in these retakes. And these post plants, it's going down right now by Chopper. And yeah, Chopper locks that plant through. Fortunately has health, so he's able to survive the blast of the grenade. But Magix goes back to address the problem of Rubs coming in from Dark. Can't get the kill. Shiro has to step up in his stead. And Chopper moves to the back of the platform. They must deal with the threat of the retake. And they're absolutely doing it. It's left on Rops inside of Dark. And they know exactly where he's coming from. It's going to be so difficult for Rops to get out of here. And that is one hell of a recovery from Team Spirit in the disadvantageous post plan. 13 to 4, but you might as well just throw that one out because now the full lineup's here and they're providing much more resistance. Carrigan quick through Canal, and Shiro considers that position. Carrigan gets punished for moving forward, and instantly Team Spirit are up a player. Reaction from FaZe might be to go aggressive at B. Yeah. Magix and Donk wait for this kind of maneuver, though. Yeah, when that kill happens so early, you got to expect there's going to be a reaction of some kind and able to punish it as well. Frozen caught out in the open, his teammate trying to provide support, but held off by covering fire, and Donk's got all the time in the world to pick and choose his battle. Well, they go middle together. Going to keep moving forward. Eventually, they will detect Chopper. But handles business like a real pro. Two headshots. Snaps up Brokey and Rops and detects the position of the final phase player. So now Spirit can plant comfortably, knowing that Rain's stuck in mid. Donk begins his hunt. It is now 10 rounds for Team Spirit, and we're getting to what feels like the tail end of this map now. A little bit of a crossfire, but passive. They can be stuck behind utility, and then it's kind of a roll of the dice whether you can be effective or not. Kerrigan, oh, spots oh. out Chopper. That's a little bold from old Chop Chop. Kerrigan's got to oh. run through all the molotovs in the world, and here comes Rops's push. Yeah, Rops trying to get the timing on it. He's got information at least that they're leaving A. Be ready on this B bomb side, but dealing with the B threat is another story altogether. Quick flanks from Rops and Brokey. They get a couple of kills between them, but Frozen, if he picks up Shiro, they've got themselves back into this one. It is just Magix with 10 seconds. He can't win this, so he'll retreat. And that is another round for FaZe. I love that last second decision from Robs to speed up and try and get that A flank going to cut off the dark play for the B split. Yeah, his timing's based off the action his teammates are seeing. He sees one kill come by and he just lets go his shift and makes sure he hustles into any kind of fight coming through dark. Really prevents that split from having any kind of impact. Team Spirit not really showing any presence anywhere. This is kind of calmly moving into position. FaZe has given them a lot of space and they're happy about that. Kerrigan, this is going to be a really tough task against Donk. Yeah, it is. Donk has the high ground as well. The attention's going to get pulled towards A main. He's going to move as soon as the execute comes in. Oh, he's still focusing on camera. Donk is coming forward. Carrigan sticks around, but it doesn't even matter. He still loses that fight versus Donk. Brokey steps up in his stead, and now Rops is at the back of the cake, trying to do absolutely everything required. And Rops certainly will do that. That's Donk dead. Out towards Bricks, and piece by piece, Rops is building this round back up for FaZe. And they are in this game again, 11 to 10. And money sent to a peculiar position on a few players here for Team Spirit. They'll still have rifles, but FaZe have got themselves right back into this. What a beautiful round from Rops to deliver. 20 kills on him so far in this map. And that's wonderful the way he dances around the bomb site. He doesn't have a whole lot of real estate to work with. Oh, he does His not. teammates have all gone down. He knows he's being pinched. And just look at the narrow margins he's playing with. Yeah, he has his cake and eats it here. That's uh, incredible work from Rops. <clears throat> you thought when Brokey goes down. And now we're just over a minute left. Zontix is about to clear out the top fountain. Rops forced into position, but it's going to work out perfectly for Rops. Absolutely wrecked. 
Rops just doesn't stop on defending this A bomb site. Team Spirit lose three players to one man, and he could get everybody here. Rops is on for all five, and Magix is the only player between him and all five kills. But he takes Rops out at the back of the bomb site, but that quick flanks in from Rain, and FaZe have found their second wind. Oh, donk. Battles Rain in dark, comes out on top of that fight. And there is one player to have the only rifle available for Team Spirit in a round of this magnitude. You want it in the hands of Donk. It may only be a Galil, but it's got a lot of work done. And now space being taken towards the B-bomb site. Picked up Rain's AK. This is an extra weapon now, ready to go for Team Spirit. Donk stays committed with the Galil. Dink and damage, follow up with the Tech-9. Magix bursts through the B-bomb site, and so have Team Spirit. Frustration is audible here for FaZe. One chance to close out this opening map. And they didn't throw everything into that, Jason. That was meant to be just give it a go. Have some attempt in this round. And they find success with only one player going down, and that's Donk who got the entry. If I heard the little slam of the desk right in front of us with the face clan just below us, and you can understand why that felt like the golden ticket to 12 rounds, but now they've got to play for overtime. Chopper. Ooh, they being used as alerting. Brokey to his position. Donk is in a bit of a sticky situation inside of Dark. Brokey does get that kill on Chopper. Donk goes forward into the fight. Magic's in combo. That is the B bombsite defense gone yet again. It's the same disconnect. This time, instead of behind the bombsite, it's both players stuck at Pillar. And Garrick they love that. Yeah, you had to try something, trying to make some magic happen. And FaZe, they're going to slip just at the final hurdle. It was fantastic to come back and stay competitive in this one. FaZe had a golden opportunity in the previous round, but Team Spirit will not be denied here on Anubis. They are up one map versus FaZe Clan. One more map victory, and they're in the semi-finals here in Dallas. Smoke flash here for Carrigan. And a quicker play in towards Ram. Zontex is going to detect that. Rain swings open. The door at A. And it's distracted between two angles, which is Top Hut and Heaven, but Robs is there to assist him. And FaZe are up two kills already. Fantastic pistol players are FaZe Clan, but Zontex is looking to try and keep Spirit in this fight and does so with a kill on Frozen. Yeah, pressuring a couple different parts of the map and then just disappearing. Rops is going to continue his good play, and he takes one out of the retake before it even begins. And you might just choose to save this if your team's... Damn. You're right. You do now if you're Shiro. Yeah, because there's not much else left in the round, is no, there? No, you can't do anything. That was damn sick from FaZe. Are those watermelons with uh, yeah. little alien faces on them? Yeah, they are. They're uh, Sandia. All right. All right, Shiro. It's what? Spanish for watermelon. Okay. I just seen some pies use these all the time. I don't know what they're called, though. Let me look that up, Jason. Because right. someone at home wanted to buy the watermelon Joe Barrettas. I bet you're going to feel like an idiot if it's just called watermelons. Nah, it can't be. People are too creative in the Counter-Strike community to just call them watermelons, Jason. Because you don't always get to talk to Magix in his native tongue, it's it's great to hear how his personality is so bubbly and, and funny actually within the spirit count. Yeah, he really is. He's got he's got a personality to him. Oh Ooh. damn. Nice shot from Shiro. Frozen isn't a fan of that. The Iceman is shattered. Well, good start. This lobby crunch, it all depends on this. Rops. It does a good job in this position, and it's nice to get away with two. One's a scout, and you've taken down Chopper. And once again, that's the round, and Shiro's the one who's going to sit back and realize he doesn't really have a great opportunity to win this. Now, they are far away from the bomb site, so if he was able to kind of get aggressive somewhere, or like find a pick, unfortunately, it's just the timing of this. Brokey's being so aggressive. Yeah, he's checking towards heaven. Hasn't detected a Shiro just yet, but now knows exactly where he is. And the melodramas are out in full force here for Shiro. Looking to bring down Brokey. He's close. No cigar, though. And Brokey will drop him with the USP. It's two in a row now for FaZe. Yep, second round by does nothing, so Team Spirit are going to save in this one. Uh, they're really feeling this is a round they don't want to invest a whole lot in FaZe. Looking at the buy, a couple MAC-10s on the board still from the previous rounds. Rain doesn't even reinvest into a rifle. He's just sticking with the P250. They know it's going to be likely an unarmored buy. And they're kind of hoping at this point, now that they lose two players, it doesn't come back to haunt them. Rain's got an AK-47, started with a pistol, and now we're here, but he's got no teammates. Disaster strikes. Rain, this is going to be one hell of a recovery if he can get himself back into this, but he takes damage even in that first fight against Shiro. 
There's at least time to play with to avoid disaster here for Rain. He's got the bomb on his back. And he's just having a little look around the vicinity, seeing if anybody from Team Spirit is close by or is trying to get aggressive and flank around the back of him. But Team Spirit realize how much of a golden chance this is, and Magic's looking to gather information. He peeks out, and celebration for Spirit because they get an unexpected round win. But this is a stand and fight spot for Chopper. He's got another smoke. Another heap of utility being sent in by his teammates, and Chopper uses that slight blow away of the smoke to get a timing on here and start of the smoke itself. He might even be able to flank around secret. He's hearing those steps, he's hearing them leave, and that is massive information for Chopper because he can now activate this flank, seeing nobody in secret. He's calling his teammates to get ready on this upper bomb site. Dog peeks outside, realizing they're gonna have to cross domain. And here comes Chopper around the back. A perfect play from the in-game leader of Spirit with 14 seconds left. Phase climb, hit the deck as Magix doubles up from top height. Rain going for the commitment, out squeaky through the Molotov, doesn't care about it, but stopped by Chopper. And that burst forward for FaZe is stopped. Donk changes up his position, aggressive for the first time outside. It perfectly connects on a Carrigan, but he makes a mistake, he goes into main, too heavy. The magic stepping up to the top of the cylinders of the site, but he is overwhelmed. And it puts it all on Frozen thanks to that shot from Shiro, so chaos all across the map, but Team Spirit will come out on top of it. Yeah, good heads up from Brokey. You can see Donk just looking to get involved in every fight he possibly can, and Brokey catches him coming through the smoke, but really the utility usage put a stop to that rush immediately. Shiro's going to play this passively. Zontic still over in ramp room. Now they've got the sound cues. Now they've got the information. But Frozen has the plan. Zonte clears that lower bomb site. Does not see Frozen. Just double checks. Shiro's a little bit far away to be confirming the upper bomb site. I'll give Frozen a shot at winning this one. He does have a Molotov. If time starts to tick on, they just need to wait for this smoke to clear so that Frozen cannot isolate the Heaven fight. If he hits the shot on Shiro, there's a real shot at it, but he actually hits the shots, just not accurately enough to the head. So Shiro's AWP chimes in. Tough situation for FaZe to be in. Another round where they don't have all the weapons of choice. It's Galil for Brokey, Rust on upgraded pistols. Well, actually, Mech 10 for Carrigan spotted. And they'll run that fast A play again. Same result, but this time Brokey. They've got down vents, though. And the bomb is with the pack. So FaZe have made it down lower. Frozen cuts open Zontix. And now Donk, he's making a lot of noise, and that's going to cost him his life. Yeah, this is, this is a round that FaZe just opened up the chaos. Similar kind of rush, except instead of trying to wrap into the bomb site, go towards... Ooh, Rob spotted. Go towards the vent and drop down behind the rifle, but then you let all the individuals make their own decisions from there. Staying committed to this on the side of Teeny Spirit. Magic's clearing out. Oh, that's going to be a kill because Frozen was so low. So that molly burns him out of darkness. And uh, FaZe, they've got to hold on. They've got to dig deep. Time is still ticking. And Spirit come charging back into the bomb site. Carrigan survives on 37 health towards the back of the site, but he's taken out. Now the defuse is on. Ray can't stop it. Spirit come back in. A defuse and a retake, and that is fantastic from Team Spirit. Yep, that is wonderfully played. You can negate the outside lurk from Rops. Good kill with the Molotov. Around these smokes at the door. We've seen it for many a year. And comes through this smoke, but it's stopped by Magix this time. A pixel spotted on that cross. Donk elevated on Unbreakable. Spots out rain. Flashes. Not going to do too much, but that grenade might. He might think Brokey's in secret. Brokey's actually played that so well. What a little position that Donk would have never expected, thinking he crossed over to secret, but then Ooh. gives up the shot on towards Shiro. Kerrigan's going to follow him up, and one on top of the mini roof. 2v4. Faze in a really tough spot at the moment. Frozen jumps around main. And that's the position of both, both players known. Shiro now feels emboldened to push through secret. He'll gather information that it is clear. No one from FaZe is attempting to walk their way down secret, but perhaps hitting the brakes pays off for Frozen because Shiro walks right into him. I'm surprised Shiro was the one to play there. It looked like he was just going to stop, but he kept going. They don't actually have heaven covered. Well, Carrigan is the interesting thing. Like, Magic surely feels a little awkward. Oh, the timing! He looks away! Sontix looked away, but no one checked for him! 
Oh my god, it's silent up the ladder now. Zontex making noise. Frozen addresses that problem. Right below him is a free kill on Zontex. And somehow, some way, phase with 10 seconds left. They're sprinting into the B bomb site. It has to be an instant plan from Carrigan. And there's no one close enough from Team Spirit to deny that plan. It's a retake, and it is suddenly around that FaZe Clan can win. Carrigan can't move from his planted position. And he's got to worry about double doors, control window, and decon is the problem. Frozen so low on health, and Magix will clean up. All he could do is go for that fight, but man, that round is almost given up. It's almost a very good thing that Zontix kind of backs up and at least gets caught by the Heaven player. But FaZe, you see that shake of the head from Kerrigan? They just cannot find a winning recipe in these late rounds. Spirit is playing so solid. And it's going to be extra frustrating for FaZe because there has been a few rounds that are very close to being FaZe round victories. Some post plans going against them. This was wild, that engagement with Zontix. Even at a death though, that dink from Zontix is so important. One opening kill on this map for FaZe, it was in the pistol round by Rain. There's another one. There's a second one. I got you, FaZe, don't worry. Keep in count. It's a good shot from Broki. Donk dealt with. Rops is about to have a fight here with Magix, and Rops handles it. Perfect crosshair placement, able to just transition slightly to remove Magix from this round. And this is where this is where it gets really, really hard. At least you have Shiro with the op that really needed to land. But what do you do? You have Shiro down in secret. You have Chopper outside and Zontix towards ramp room. Tough to get them to work together. A little bit of a double fight outside. Chopper getting aggressive. That's the bomb. Bomb dropped outside. Shiro doesn't need to commit to this fight. He's in the vent trying to cause problems for them, but it's eyes on getting that bomb back for FaZe. Carrigan finally gets rid of the chopper, but they descend down into Zontix. And they know exactly where Shiro is, so Frozen will deal with that problem in the vent. Shiro's angle is very, very strong. He should be able to get away with one. Rops may jiggle a shot out of him, but he goes into the fight anyway. Shiro drops down to safety. And they are unleashing multiple phase players towards him now. They dive down. Now Shiro is stuck in the corner. Still trying to fight his way out of this, but overwhelmed. Frozen breaks through him. And phase are into the B-bomb site. Brokey's over in control window with the op. Going to get aggressive. Trying to make sure Chopper can't swing to stop the plant. It's planted inside the smoke. Three on three retake. And Chopper's going to wait for Donk to arrive. He can be the bait, but Brokey can disappear quickly. Magix is the player with relevant utility. He's got the molly to clear them out, but Chopper goes down. Brokey, what a shot! Second is so fast on Donk. And Magix now stuck in the vent. His teammates have all fallen. And their chance to win this retake shrinks. So he falls away. FaZe Clan get their fourth round on the T side. And that's enough to work with going into the second half. But given the resurgence of energy here, they might be able to get even more. FaZe have been much more assertive as a group in these last two rounds. Instead of kind of spreading out and playing the default, getting outside control, slowly moving from there, it's been a lot of making sure the trade game is there, making sure a, a spirit player can't multi-kill, keeping up in their face and not allowing them to have too many second options. Will they check for Donk? Flash is good. It completely blinds Donk. He's removed. That's the end of his half. He will finish this first half with five kills. Sure to drop rain. 40 seconds remaining. Magix is hearing this push through into the top bomb site. Chopper peeks out. Unable to get that first kill on the peak. 30 seconds is all that's left here. The Magix is still inside of Hut. You hear that ring out. XM 10-14 rips apart Frozen and Rops. And one extra round will be stolen away here at the end of the half from Spirit. 7-5, they lead the way as they look to 2-0 phase and head to the semifinals. Kerrigan's got a supportive flash. Rain probably going to peek off of it just a little bit. See where they are exactly. Keep track for the player in secret. And there it is. Biding his time and finds the clean look. So does Rops. And head their way towards Hut. Line away. It is frozen. For the gun sling his way to a double, but Donk prevents that from happening. Yeah, but there's this all piss around was always going to go away with him after those initial kills. Not much you could have hoped for. Rain's going to finish it off. Nice headshot. Triple kill for him in the pistol. Anyway, I expect him to step up on this T side, though. We know he's going to find his moments to be aggressive. And as we saw in Anubis, even if he's not getting kills, just the nature of his swings and his fight selection is really valuable to the team in terms of the space he's creating. Good shot from Shiro to take down one. A little more damage would be lovely. 
but probably not going to happen. Okay. Ooh, that is that is a beefy shot from the Deagle of Zontix. I think that's enough base. Don't give him anything else. Carrigan covers off that main walk. Zontix taken down, looking the wrong way. Yeah, it's working out exactly as planned. Maybe a little early on that utility towards the upper bomb side. Those flashbangs are going to be well faded. Carrigan close quarters. He's got that MP9 frozen to assist in the back of the bomb site, but there is Donk arriving to the T side as he rips apart three. Donk doesn't stop. Chopper closes the round, and Team Spirit bursts through that upper bomb site with a lovely fake lower into the rotation upwards. Yeah, that's such a sick piece of misdirection. And even if the execute was a little bit early, maybe mistimed, maybe just some miscoms on how the pacing that Spirit's going to be able to attack with, you still have pulled phase so far out of position that it's not a rock solid defense. Well, didn't, didn't need to wait long for Dawn to return, did we? Magics. Trying to find the perfect position once that smoke fades away. Carrigan looks to clear that close position. Gets information, allows Rops to trade. Magics gets info, there was two pushing ramp. Rops does not give it up, he stays committed in the trophy room. We'll trade out for the rifle instead. And it's a walk for Team Spirit through Squeaky, it's contact. Zontix has got close towards the vent. Chopper on T-roof has utility ready to go. Zontix now detected. That's information passed on to Team Spirit. Maybe that utility needs to come in right now. Dolph fails to win the fight against Frozen in Hut. There's a double setup from FaZe inside of Hut right now. It's Brokey and Frozen, and they only know about one player in that position. And now Frozen's been sacrificial, but Chopper's holding even for that second. Now Brokey detected. 5-7 for Rain is needed to be pulled, and he's making it look easy. Zontix close in the spam, but couldn't get it done. And Brokey survives on 13 health to come back and win the clutch. But equally, FaZe have all the utility they need to stop it and slow it down and hinder it. But, oh my lord, that's a drive-by. And, and Kerrigan's MP9 <laughs> is not enough for a multi-kill. Uh, well, it's worked out to get into the bomb site. Bomb is not planted yet. And that Rob's kill from Heaven could prove pivotal because it evens out those numbers. Flash up from Brokey. Chopper's blinded by it. Bomb not planted, but Zontix nails that headshot with the Tech-9. Rops is decapitated upon the peak, and Chopper stepping up alongside of him. Rame takes damage in his engagement, and so Chopper feels confident to swing. So Team Spirit will celebrate a fast play under the upper bomb site. We say that, but maybe easy is not the right word. Favorable. Favorable. Yeah, all right. Magic's certainly favored to win that duel and does, but not with the one with Brokey, who now upgrades himself into an M4A1S. There was no one close by from Team Spirit to be able to trade that out, so Frozen is able to back away with health and that M4 intact. Yeah, but even even with the success of scavenging that weapon, you don't really have information on the way the rest of Spirit is going to go. And there's limited time left here for Spirit. 25 seconds. Decon opens up. FaZe will be alerted to that fact. Now Brokey with that picked up rifle, unable to get a kill. Dog instantly annihilates him. Zontix follows up on Carrigan, and that plant is now through for Team Spirit, and you suddenly get presented with... Some of the best talent Counter-Strike has ever seen. Uh, you're going to be counting your, your lucky chickens, right? This is a fantastic... Brokey's coming back up ramp to try and clear it. He realizes, okay, it's going to be the hell play. And Brokey says hello. Double from behind. Carrigan gets the kill on Chopper. And now Donk is left alone outside. And there's nothing there for Spirit. Perfect timing for Brokey to come back up the ramp. Rain spots the head. Up on top of main, that is Chopper, who doesn't want to fight with Rain. Instead, this outside duel will go down. It's Shiro and Brokey going one for one in the initial engagements. Donk is quick about this playthrough garage. He's trying to speed things up. He wants to fight, and he's stopped by Rain. Well handled from Rain on defense. Yet again, proving he is all so reliable. Can call that over to Frozen, who plays some CT vent. And Carrigan is readying himself in the final 35 seconds for what seems to be a play into the A site from Team Spirit. Molotov to force Frozen into an uncomfortable position. Has to try and fight. Loses that duel. Carrigan moves into the open and dies. Rain silently drops down. Gets under the crosshair of Zontix, but it won't matter because Rain will fall. And Team Spirit bursts through the A site and bursts through to series point against FaZe. 
Robs comes back up through secret, but he's so far away from this bomb site. Limited utility, I said, but boy, do they make it efficient. One smoke, one Molotov, and they put the Molotov perfectly at the vent to be able to come outdoor. Once their position was seen in hut, they just make a slight alteration and just wreck this defense. Kerrigan's even hustling over to try and provide support to Frozen at door. None of it matters. Chopper and Magix with the critical impact entries. And Spirit convert a disadvantaged round into a victory. Three chances now to make it directly into the semifinals. Carrigan feels hungry for information here against Zontix, and he peaks at the perfect time. Zontix had hands busy with grenades. Donk effective trading. Flash even connected on him, but he was still able to get that headshot away. 15 seconds, very limited time here for Team Spirit. No and they go back works. down to the lower bomb side. This ain't gonna work. Rob has to shut this down. He holds down Mouse One. He's oh, he doesn't even need that third kill. Time is not on the side of Team Spirit. They just wait too long. And FaZe have another round. 12 to 10. This one's not over. And once again, Spirit testing all the space that FaZe is allowing them to have. Magics and Zontix come crushing down on FaZe. They drop through the vent and look to thread the needle into the B-bomb site. Brokey is down here to defend. Oh, they're gonna go back up with that kill, oh, surely. Yeah, that yeah. kill opens up another option. 17 seconds. They're gonna get up that vent, get into the A site, look to try and close this. Rops is down on B, but they are long gone. Spirit are on the upper bomb site, and Spirit are into the semifinals. The testing of everything, feeling that space over towards Squeak Door. Spirit this round let the individuals really get aggressive. Zontix able to find a good pick towards Mini. Cause chaos. And it the drop-down vents just pulled Brokey out of position. Spirit has looked fantastic in this series. Tactically, individuals are playing well, and Rops just doesn't have the time to make this happen. He's got that first kill on Donk, but he goes right into Shiro, and Team Spirit surge into the semifinals of the 100th Intel Extreme Masters. This time, it's in Dallas. And this is done without the Donk dominance. This is a team effort from Team Spirit.